Okay, let's provide the solution to this in two ways. Solution. Let's look at the first method. A over square root of A, which is square root of A, equals, equals 2. Now, I want to deal with what I have on the left. This is A over A to the power of 1 over 2 equals 2. Now, this A has power of 1, so if I pick A, then I have to subtract the powers because this is division. And this is equal to 2. And 1 minus 1 over 2 will still give us 1 over 2. So a to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 2. And then if I'm going to eliminate this power, I need to square this again. Then I'll square the other side so that this will go. And then a is equal to 4. This is the solution. Okay, from the first method. Now, let us get the second method. Okay, second method. We have a over the square root of a equals 2. Now, using the second method, I'm going to cross multiply. Believe that this is over 1, so that root a times 2 will give us 2 root a and that is equal to a times 1 which is a now divide both sides by what by 2 so that we'll have root a on its own so root a now is equal to a over 2 now we need to remove the square root so we square it and the whole of this will be squared this will take this out a will now be a squared over 4. Then we cross multiply to get, um, okay, if we cross multiply, we will be having 4a to be equal to a squared, right? Because this is over 1, 4a will be equal to a squared, and this equally means that a squared is equal to 4a. So we're going to continue from here. Okay, so do not divide both sides by a. So you rather bring a 4a to the left. So we have minus 4a, which is equal to 0. Now, a is a common factor. Then here we have a squared. Oh, 1a is already out. So there's nothing here, or you put a to the power of 1, then minus 4 equals 0. So it is either a is 0, or a minus 4 is 0. So if a is 0, a on the other side is going to be 0 plus 4. So a is equal to 0, or a is equal to 4, right? And uh, remember what the first solution gave us. The first method gave us A to be equal to 4 alone, but the second method is giving us A to be 0 or 4. So which one of the methods is more you know, accurate? Remember the equation is A over square root of A, equals 2. Let's put in 4 and see what we're going to have. This is 4 over square root of 4 because a square root of a is down there so it should be square root of 4. Now this will give us 4 over square root of 4 is 2 and this will give us 2. So this satisfies very well and the same for here it's also that it's also satisfying. But then, if we put x to be 0, you're going to have 0 over square root of 0, which is 0 over 0. And this does not make sense, or it will not give us 2. So this means that x to be equal to 0 has to be rejected. 
So therefore, the first method gave us the two um gave us only the real solution, which is a equals four. But the second method gave us the real solution and the unneeded solution. So if I were you, I will know the method to use. Thank you for watching and then subscribe to my channel.